ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Zobra Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're checking out Galactic Merchant, which is an automation slash trading management strategy game. And we're going to jump into and see exactly what we have got going on. As ever, I will do my very best to impart that knowledge that I have learned over my time playing the game to you, dear viewer. And I must say, I actually quite enjoy this uh, this game. It's very, very, very simple at a, at a base level. Um, trading is very, very simple. You buy something at a low price and um, and you sell it for a high price. We're going to skip through the tutorial, uh, although I should warn you straight away uh, that you cannot really sort of skip past um, skip past different bits and bobs uh, in the game. Uh, everything is sort of gated in a chronological order, which is actually quite good because it means that we can explain. Uh, and go through the features in uh, in in nice slow fashion. Anyway, uh, AMU three. This is my ship. Um, it's a it's a freighter. It's able to it's able to transport bits and bobs. It looks like it looks like this. I don't know why it just does. Anyway, uh, the point is, um, I am going to get you to enter the trading zone of the planet, the planet Amphiriatron. Am 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 amphit amphitryon. I I don't know. Anyway, uh, this is the planet. And we have we have a sun in the middle, MU Herculeus. As you can see, that's a very flat looking sun. It's a young star. It was colonized just 200 years ago. There you go. Anyway, I uh, only have one colony at the moment, and there is only one planet within that colony. Don't worry, we will be expanding to many, many, many planets. A uh, planet has a whole bunch of different stats. None of that particularly matters. Uh, it's also got one specific unit uh, or one specific material that you can buy and sell, and it's got one of our assets. This is our assets, AMU3, around it. Now, what we need to do is we need to buy. We need to buy... Uh, we need to buy isotopes, and we need to load them onto our ship, and we need to take them to a planet that is hopefully going to buy the isotopes at a better price. Now, of course, this guy, whoever he is, generic businessman, uh, who is leading us through this, uh, I guess, it's not a tutorial because it's not telling me how to do it, but it is kind of gated, um, is, is, just, is just the guy, is just the guy for the, for the job. Right, so we've got another, we've got another ship, that's great. Uh, let's take AMU3 all the way across to the brand new planet of Mira. Mira? Mira. Sure, let's go with Mira. And then we will go into the freighter and we will say, hey, let's sell off these isotopes. Now, uh, you'll note, by the way, that polymers and isotopes, we can buy polymers on Mira and we can sell them on Amphiriatron. Uh, and polymers are a good buy on Mira. Isotopes are a good sell. So we can bring cheap isotopes across from Amphiriatron to Mera and Polymers back the way uh, and happy days we're able to make a little bit of a profit. As you can see it's not very much in fact it's a tiny little amount uh, but you know if you add it up and you automate it which we will be able to do very very shortly um, we're gonna be we're gonna be in the money. So let's get some more Polymers over here and we'll sort of just take them back. We've got a thousand bucks or we started with a thousand bucks uh, in the bank. There we go. Click you across to there. Very very simple move the the ships across happy days um i did say that we had a second ship i will get that second ship operational in just a second uh but for now i'm just quite happy just to sort of do a couple of demonstration runs uh with just a with just a single ship anyway look at that more profit more profit and as you can see isotopes what do you know they're a good buy they're a great buy here we'll buy two of them and we'll send it right the way uh right the way back to mara which is brilliant beautiful Perfect. Okay, so it's not exactly super optimal at the moment. Doing all of this manually is a little bit annoying. It's a little bit daft, and it's uh, entirely pointless because we will soon have the ability to automate things, which is going to be great. But for now, I'm just happy that we're able to make a profit. The businessman inside me tells tells me that we're 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 making money, and that is a good thing. Goodbye. Goodbye. Let's do it. Not goodbye in terms of, you know, see you later. Goodbye in terms of. It's, it's good for making money. Anyway, uh, so that's it. That's basically it. Um, that is the crux of what we will be doing uh, over the course of this game. Uh, there's a little newspaper feed here, which will uh, shortly uh, start to have an impact. Uh, we've got some messages. You can see Mark Temp, who's giving us who's giving us instructions, telling us on how things how things work. Uh, we have some objectives here: make five profitable freight journeys, uh, which is a bit of a bit of a thing to say. That is fine, though. Uh, we can very, very, very easily do that. Get some isotopes. 
Look at this. Micromanaging can be a tedious task. I suspect. I suspect there. Mark has just given us the keys to the kingdom. If I just refresh this screen a little bit. Boom. What do you know? We've got uh, a crew screen here now, which is fantastic. Unlocking the captain or adding the captain to the freighter uh, allows us to get the root button. And this is where things start to go fantastic. Right, so um, we can set up a little mini route here. Very, very simple to do. Uh, Amphurian, Tamara. We're going to take isotopes. I think it's isotopes anyway. Isotopes over here and assign polymers on the way back. Gives us a little estimated profit screen. Uh, we click activate and it just goes. It just goes. Uh, so that is really, really, really nice. And it just it just makes money. Um, we, we, we finish the business as usual mission there. That is lovely. Very, very nice indeed. And now we're going to see, you know, slowly but surely the, the cash start to accumulate as hopefully AMU3, yep, starts to make the trip all the way back across. Now, we can get uh, a similar sort of setup on AMU4. The problem is... The problem is free cash uh, at the moment. So if we were to go into buy here, and if we were to say, right, we want to buy two isotopes, and this is kind of an important, uh, kind of an important distinction. This is the buy price. This is the, the buy price is, is what I, so I sell for the buy price and I buy for the sell price. So when I'm buying, I would be buying isotopes at 366.15, right? That's basically it. That's fine. Uh, but it means that I will effectively not have enough money to have four units in contention or in transit at any one time. Put simply, I don't make quite enough money to have two full ships worth of any goods uh, at any time. Now, if that if that, I mean, that's fine, but the problem is, is that the game gets a little bit confused when you automate the two routes. I say it gets confused. It doesn't really get confused. If you don't have enough money to completely fill up a ship, then the ship will just sit there uh, forever, which is is a little bit less than ideal. So uh, I think we're going to avoid that if it's all possible. Yes. On my way. There you go. Just go into orbit around... Go into orbit around uh, around MU Hercules. There we go. That's fine. Okay. Uh, you may have noticed that there's a little countdown timer in the top right-hand corner. That signifies that there is uh, a quarter in progress and a quarter one. Revenue, excellent. Gross margin, beautiful. We've got some, we've got some expenses here. Operating income, tax rates. We've got a little bit of tax, net income. Now, we can choose to not pay tax, uh, but given that we're only going to be paying like four what is this HT? I think it is. I have, I have no idea what the what the what the what the game says. We can choose to pay taxes, or we can choose to not pay taxes. I'm quite happy to choose to pay taxes uh, because it's not that big of a deal, and things go badly wrong if we choose not to pay taxes. Right. Once you get comfortable with trading, you should focus on your next big goal, which is to obtain a Class B permit. It's a poor economy to trade with rich federation systems. You'll need the permit, so check your messages. I've sent you the requirements. Thank you very much. Please note that this is your priority and stakeholders will accept whatever it takes to get the permit, as long as you're successful. Now that is called foreshadowing. That is called foreshadowing, ladies and gents. Uh, right, so the new screen is starting to, to, to be utilized now. A few more, a few more things are going to start happening. Right, so I don't know if this is an L or if it's an I. I'm sure I could work it out. I think it's an L. L Laudinium mines? Laudinium mines? Sure, whatever. Excellent. Merchants of New Hercules uh, and Prime Spring Federation decided to count the situation caused by the Lyodinium shortage. Federation will organize shipments using long-range mass ships. Excellent. Cool. Okay. Anyway, uh, recession on Amphitron and the price of the price of goods. Price of goods will go down. Okay. Expected that being a trader will be harder during the recession as there are less goods offered on the market as well as fewer potential buyers. Okay, that is what it is. Cool. Okay, what do we need for a Class B permit? Uh, per the decision of the Federal Council, the B-Class permit is granted to those companies which have no less than five ships, exceed zero HT in quarterly turnover. Not challenging. Uh, this decision is because trading between star systems is a big responsibility. Only companies which have sufficient assets will be granted this permission. Excellent. Okay, so we still have we still have you running back and forwards between uh, between planets. Now, it's worth noting, it's probably worth having a, a little look at all of the planets that have sort of popped up. So we have uh, Pyrrhus here. And actually, Pyrrhus is a good, uh, a good example of a planet 
which we can actually buy uh, a brand new ship on. So this is something that we will need to do in order to get our uh, Class B permit. So keep that in mind. Uh, it's also got, you know, its own specific prices. Um, there's also a brand new, you know, Lodoninium uh, thing, resource price, because that's that's been added now. So there we go. Happy days. Um, we've also got Starport Plato. Very, very cool. Uh, able to produce and repair ships. Also functions as a trading hub for larger ships which cannot do or do not wish to enter Ferris Trade Zone. Okay, that's fine, I guess. That is A-OK, -okay, although it doesn't show any prices. Uh, we've obviously got Mera. We've got Amphiatron. We've got Perimede, which is also kind of interesting. 92% covered in water. Valuable minerals under the ocean. Excellent. Anxo is a cold and harsh climate that is unwelcoming for inhabitants. Popular destination for heavy industry. Excellent. Okay. Um, I mean, what's the what's the sort of dealio here? I mean, we sell it three seven three seven eight. I mean, what's the the situation on Amphiatron? Three six two. Three six two. I mean, we could make we could make money. We could make money off this. And to be honest, getting a second automated ship in into into the situation would be great. Although isotopes isotopes to Perimede sounds sounds way better, right? Yeah, this sounds this sounds way better. Yeah, let's see if we can try and get ourselves an automated route. Automated route here. Yes. So we want to go here. Want to buy? Uh, we want to buy. Why do I want to buy? I don't want to buy this. I really do not want to buy this. Hold on. We need to enter. We need to enter the trade zone of Amphiriatron. Of course, I forgot that I'd thrown the ship out into the, the big wide wilderness of space. Let's see where it is. Oh, wow. It's miles away. Yeah, that was a stupid thing to do, wasn't it? That was a really, really stupid thing to go. Let's do it. Let's go 10 times speed. Why not, eh? Right, what's coming up? Sir, I've obtained information which may be vital to your business. I can inform you precisely about the arrival of Iodinium in the star system by arriving early to trade. Uh, happy to share this information with you for a small feed. Please respond to the anonymous message in your inbox. Okay, I will do that. Pay taxes. Continue. Messages. Vital information. I'll pay that vital information. Sure. Wise choice. You should be able to see a timer which is counting down to the next delivery. Use this to your advantage. Okay. Dropship area. The dropship area, we will we will go and get ourselves we'll go and get ourselves some uh some dropship. Right. Ooh, there's an abandoned Lyodinium mine on the asteroid in the courage belt. I can send you a possible location to search for it. Provide zero units of us till the end of the protest. You're free to sell all surplus. If you're not convinced, I can send you a B-class permit, which I believe you've been looking for. Very, 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 very cool. Okay, let's let's make this happen. Right. Um, where's my where's my ship? Let's get four. And let's go to the dropship area over here, and we'll see, we'll see if we can try and we'll see if we can try and buy some uh, some of the good stuff. Some of the good stuff which has been so difficult to to acquire previously. And then we'll start exploring the asteroid belt, see if we can try and find ourselves this abandoned mine thing. Yes. Yes. Right. So, it's not available at the moment, but it will be. We came too late, was sold out. Yeah, it's okay. Can I interact again? I might not be able to interact again. Hold on, go over here. Session will start shortly. Yes. We so buy? Cargo. We can buy. Okay, excellent. Okay. So we bought for like a hundred a hundred bucks a piece. Uh where do we want to sell to? 225. 150. 300. Perimede sounds like a pretty great place to sell it, to be fair. Whoa, Anxo. It's gotta be Anxo, right? That's brilliant. Ready for orders, sure. Go to Anxo. Yeah, 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 heck yeah, dude. That's going to be brilliant. We're going to make like an absolute ton of money. I have no idea if there's still any more, but hey ho. Anyway, yes, right. We need to find this. We need to find this abandoned mine. That's fine. 
happy days. And let's see if we can try and let's see if we can try and make an absolute killing here on Anxo. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be brilliant. Right, enter the trade zone. Whoa, 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 whoa. no, 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 back, 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 back. There we go. Okay. Right, we're in Anxo. See if we can sell. Oh, look at that. 650 bucks worth of profit. Oh, that is crazy. Oh, that is gorgeous. I mean, that basically gets us a brand new ship. That's fantastic. That is really, really fantastic. Okay, well, we've got another four minutes until the next uh, until the next drop. Let's go and explore all of the available asteroids, and we'll see if we can try and find this abandoned mine. Are you working towards reactivating the old mine? If you're not able to complete this task, we'll uh, reassign it to someone who can finish the job. Don't worry, I'm on it. At this point, you can afford to expand your fleets. Of course, I'm going to. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. I will, don't worry. What's up? We've explored the asteroid, but didn't find anything here. Okay, that's cool. There's still plenty of other asteroids in space. Plenty of other fish in the sea. Okay. Uh, right, any new messages? Nope, that's fine. And what are our objectives? Obtain the Class B permit, find and reactivate the old mine. Yeah, okay. Those two those two things we are working towards. Right, AMU-4. We've explored the asteroid, but didn't find anything here. Okay. Uh, this has got to be the asteroid then, right? No, there still could be... Oh, there's like a couple, couple of other ones. And then we need to nip across to... Then we need to nip across to the dropship area again, because why not? We've explored the asteroid, but didn't find anything here. Fine. At least we're deleting them from the map, which is kind of nice. It'd be nice if we found it on the last asteroid. Also, I'm sure there are more profitable tr uh, trade routes here. Like, what's the... If Anxo is high-priced for isotopes, I can maybe look at changing up the, the OG trade route, but it's okay. Uh, we've explored the asteroid and found the abandoned mine. Excellent. Still operational, uh, but our work would take half the period and cost 20 HT. Of course. Don't do it. Cargo. Okay. If running the mine was good business, it wouldn't have been abandoned. Use it to please Federation officials, but don't expect to make much profit in the long run. I expect to make a lot of profit in the short run, though. I really, really do. Okay. So that's going to that's gonna happen at the moment. I don't think it's going to be up and running immediately, so we don't have to worry about that right now. Uh, ooh, excellent. Wonderful. Quarter three. How much money did we make? A lot. Basically double our income. How much are taxes? Taxes are 75 bucks. To be fair, taxes cost basically nothing. That's fine. All right, what's going on? Oh, the protesters. The protesters are not happy with us. Okay, take these leaders on one of the ships and visit at least five planets before releasing them. Okay, right. We see our old mine is on the system. Excellent. Well done. Okay. Um, fine. So we have the option. We have the option of perhaps working with the rebels. Do I want to do that? I'm not necessarily sure that I do. I'm not necessarily sure that I do at all. Let's get you to go to the old mine. And what do you know? Boom. Bada bim, bada boom. This feature is not yet implemented. That's fine. Uh, we are producing... We are producing stuff yes. here, so that's good. That is really, really good. Happy days. That's lovely to see. That is lovely, lovely, lovely to see. Keep on, keep on producing. Keep on producing. That is, that is great. We will load up. We will load up. We will load up. And then we do need to go. We do need to sell to the federal outpost, right? Let's have a little look at this. What does this look like? Yeah, so we need to do this until the... We need to do this until the protests are over. That was the deal that we made, right? Yeah, until the end of the crisis. Unfortunately, I I don't really like that deal very much at all. Uh, let's hire a crew member to automate it. Let's not hire a crew member to automate it, apparently. Where is the federal outpost? Federal outpost is over here. Sure. Send you over there. And let's also see if we can try and get ourselves some new, some new ships. Yeah, what did we need? Build price 2,100. Let's build that, honestly. Let's build it. Let's build it. Yes, ready for orders. Okay, under construction. I have no idea how long it's going to take to build. 
uh, but it was 500 bucks cheaper, and therefore I feel like that's completely fine. It was also the cheaper of the two ships, but again, ready. perfectly okay. Okay, it's ready now. That was absolutely no time at all to wait uh, to wait for that. Ready that's fine. Right, let's sell this. Cargo. Sell this again. There we go, and we'll just sort of manually Six. pop you back to. There we go to the asteroid mine. Beautiful. Okay. Ah, uh, bummer. We missed the uh, we missed the other. We missed the we missed the opportunity to get access to cheap to cheap to cheap goods, but that's fine. You can only do what you can do. That is a okay. Right, AMU four. How long is this flipping crisis gonna last? Isotopes and up in Perimede. That's that's okay. Ending in messages. Shipment. Yep. Kind of anticipated that. Uh, yeah, how do I help the how do I help the rebels? I'm not actually sure how I help the rebels. I'm not even sure if I want to help the rebels. Let's get the this loaded. It's loaded. Not available. Oh, it will be soon. There we go. Come on, beautiful, excellent. And we'll get this and it's loaded there. And we'll scoot you back to the Federal Outpost. Brilliant. Okay, survivors. Oh, I see. Survivors. We can get the survivors loaded. Um, let's do... Sure. Let's get you... Let's get you over here to the asteroid. And we'll see if we can maybe take the... Take the survivors around. Seems like a little bit of a dangerous thing to do. But if they say they can get me my Class B permit, then my shareholders are going to be happy. Surely. Okay. AMU4, which we're still managing manually. I feel like I'm throwing such a crazy amount of money down the drain here, but I know that if I don't do it, I'm gonna get told off. And that's that's really not what I wanna not what I wanna deal with. Right. Ping you back over there. Let's get these survivors loaded. Loaded up. It is here. I'm sure it was here that I saw the survivors. No, uh, it was one of these places. Where was it? I think so. Yes. Where was it? Where was it? I have no idea. They were around, and now they're not. I thought they were I thought they were around. Okay, that's that's fine. We didn't actually make any money, so we're not going to pay any taxes. Happy days. Uh right, yeah. I for the life of me can't figure out ready for ready for orders. Can't figure out where uh ready where these survivors are likely to be. We can still we can still load stuff up here, but They might, they might have just disappeared. Oh, oh well, no, uh, no harm, no foul. I'd like to remind you that obtaining the Class B permit, yes. I'm really trying, I'm really trying here. Right, um, can we... God, I mean, jeez Louise, what a, what a, what a buzzkill, eh? Yeah, upgrades seem entirely worthless at the moment. Sure. You know what? Let's get uh Let's get AM AMU5 loaded up. We need more resources if you're able to deliver us 10 additional units of IO minimum, I'll pass on my recommendation. Okay, that's cool. Cannot buy from a different location. Where where is this? Where is this? I literally have no idea where this where this is supposed to be. Ready for orders. Ready for orders. I literally have no idea where this is supposed to be. Okay, we can get this yes. AMU five. Let's get this loaded up. Loading cargo. Right. Yeah, fine. Uh, the the mine. How's the mine doing? It's about to get its last. Ready for 
Yes. Last bit there. Apply, load, excellent. Okay, then you're going to go here. Federation outpost. You are going to go to the dropship area. And we're going to go quick. And we're going to hope. I hope beyond hope that we're able to make it in time. Uh, let's also turn off... Protest leaders. Uh, but please help us and we'll reward you generously. Where are you? Where are you? If I could figure out where the heck you were, I would... I'd do it. Right, AMU 5 is just getting into... It's just getting into here. Excellent. So let's get these things sold. We needed to get, what, 10 additional units? Do we have a time limit for that? I'm not sure. Well, let's send you to the dropship area. Let's get AMU 3. Uh... Roots off. Loading cargo. Sell both of these. For a loss. A very slight loss, mind you. And then we'll send you to the dropship area as well. God, this is a bit of a trek here. But that's okay. Got one in the dropship area. See if we can maybe make a quick profit off this. Right, brilliant. Buy. There we go. There we go. We got two. We got two units of the stuff. How quickly is it going to run out? When are our next ships going to be here? There we go. No. Still available. Still available. Still available. Wow, I think we've done it. Oh, yes. Okay. Right. Still don't know where the survivors are, but that's fine. Whew, right, okay, we got everything. We got everything that we needed. We got everything that we needed. How many... How many more bits do we need to deliver? I mean, we could deliver most of them right now, but I don't think we want to. I think we want to deliver to Anxo, right? Yeah. Yes. Sure. You know, let's get two to deliver to Anxo, and then you can deliver to the Federal Outpost. That sounds fine. Right, so that's going to make us a pretty decent chunk of cheddar. Uh, we still need to try and find the... Still need to try and find the, the protesters. I'm sure they'll be around. Oh, that's the mine over there. That's fine. Colony ship. No. Yeah, I have really no idea where these protesters are. They're hanging around. But I'm not sure that I really care. Okay. Anxo is going to get two new ships. Entering the trade zone. Excellent. Love to see it. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's so wonderful. Look at that crazy money just rolling in. Brilliant. I hope I, I haven't upset anyone, but... Hey-ho. Right. Send you back over to there. We've got just about two units. Brilliant. 2,300. Ah, I could have waited until the next quarter. And then I wouldn't have to pay this much tax, but... I will pay taxes. Right, what are you saying? Uh, you might be supplying the Federation, but please, can you deliver some items, craft some defenses? Okay. Thank you. I appreciate the fact that everyone seems to be Red Giant to Orpheus. Okay, man. Everyone keeps offering me. Everyone keeps offering me stuff. Go to the colony ship, see if we can find these protesters. Right. In the meantime, let's go back to the yes. old iron mine. And we'll get ourselves, get ourselves this loaded up. This lady is going to get really, really antsy with me. I can just tell. Hold on. Messages. Last period, you didn't deliver us the supplies we agreed. As the supply is just starting, I'll just ignore this. However, if you don't intervene at the mine, please make sure all future deliveries the amount to agreed. Okay. I'm trying. Did that way uh, get rid of the last? Objective? No, we still need 10. Oh, God. And there's now a distress signal, apparently, that's come online. Oh, jeez, it's all happening. We're only at one time speed. Can you believe that? Uh, AMU4, by the way. Let's get... Interact. You're not supposed to be here, pal. Don't come any closer. We'll target your ship. Okay. I don't know what I just did. I don't even know where I am. I'm at the colony ship. Okay. Um... Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Very, 
Very, very apparent. Very, very apparent. Okay. That's how it is. That's how it is. Okay, the Federal Outpost. Um, yeah, I can't buy stuff. That's that's okay. Right. Ready for orders. You for come to the Federal Outpost. Ready Brilliant. For Ready for orders. So the Colony Ship. That's what we can buy. Okay. Got Gotcha. Gotcha. Dropship area, Federal Outpost, Anxo. Right, this is it. Okay, I see. So I don't know how we... I don't know how we get access to... I don't know when that happens, but it'll happen at some point where we'll get the opportunity to buy some drugs. That's cool. Still no sign of the... Oh, it, they're on Mera. They're on Mera. The survivors are on Mera. Okay, let's go and, let's go and get some survivors and we'll cart them around. Right. You here. Let's get this sold. Yes. I would love to buy drugs. I mean, I would love to not do that. Right, okay. Four horsemen. Right, four horsemen has failed. Okay, that is fine. I acknowledge that we received the agreed shipment from you. Excellent. Good. Investigate the distress signal. Yeah, right. So the leaders, I guess, are no longer going to be uh, going to be interested in us. That's fine. Uh, I need to yes. just get you to go and visit the distress signal. Fine. How's the mine looking? Asteroid Fortis over here. That's, there's a lot more asteroids back on the uh, back on the menu. Why, how are there so many objectives? This is this is stressing me out. This is this is a huge number of objectives right now. And we're very very wealthy. I should get a new ship. Right. Let's go back to AMU three. Yes. Let's get your route just turned on. I know it's a bit lame, but why not, eh? Then let's get you to go back to the old asteroid mine, and we'll just get you to do what needs to be done there. Right, it appears that we found a lost shipment. Uh, a lost ship from the previous century. Corellianus. Should we enter and explore? Yes. Let's do that. It's busy at the moment. That is fine. Goodness gracious me. So much is happening. So much is happening. Right. Uh, 10 units. 10 units. I mean, are we even going to manage to... Yes. Complete that? I feel like... Loading cargo. I feel like... Well, I'm going to load both up, obviously. Ready for and then we're going to send this back across the Federal right. Outpost. Because of course we will. The amount of time, effort, and energy that is being consumed by this daft... Daft mission is crazy. Uh, let's also look at getting... Where is it? Pyrrhus here. A large freighter? Build price is 3,300. Also, there's a, a little pop-up about military investment. Price has gone up. Excellent. Objective completed terminus. We have investigated the distress signal. Excellent. What's up? It's an older ship, but it's definitely functional and would count towards your Class B permit. Excellent. Beautiful. Okay, um, the end of the tax... The end of the tax quarter is is up. That's... That's fine. Losing money. What did I lose money on? Everything, apparently. Well, I guess we'll pay our taxes. No reason not to. Right, what have you want? We've, uh... Not received a decision from you. A yes or no. Um, do you not think that... Do you not think that I would have... Told you yes or no? I, I think I said no. Right, we need a few more units, a few more units worth of uh, of the good stuff to get to the Federation. That's fine. Did we also get a brand new ship. AMU six, we did. Uh, that's fine. I tell you what, AMU six. Let's get you a crew. Let's get you a crew. Ready for. I don't know if we can't get you a crew if you're not in the Amphiriatron trade range. So we'll see if we can try and get that set up. AMU3 is doing a, is doing a good amount of work, just sort of jetting around. Let's get this sold. Excellent. Because what I'm currently thinking is if we can get a crew member on, on here, which we can do, we'll set up a route between the... Oh, God, what is it? C, B, S, this one. This one to the Federation outpost carrying that. 
Excellent. Literally, that's what we need. And I think that AMU-6, that should be enough to keep us to keep us good. Right. And so that leaves us two other ships. These two other ships, we're going to get to... We're going to get to the drop point, and we're going to make an absolute killing. There we go. Yes. We're going to make an absolute killing with our insider trading information. Excellent. Okay, brilliant. Right, so we got a lot of messages. That's fine. Ooh, look at this. Just reminding you that there's some stuff waiting in the place that we agreed on. Oh, I am very, very interested in that. I mean, I am incredibly interested in that. I mean, in a way, I've actually never been more interested in anything ever. Can I afford to do a quick little one? Quick little, quick little drug run by any chance? Ready for orders. I might be able to, you know. Right. Let's see if this is loading up, by the way. AMU-6 should load up and go. You need a class believe permit. Uh, could arrange a permit for a small fee. Jeez, Louise, what are what are people doing? I just just let me just chill. Yes. Honestly. Right. Are we able to load up? Not available at the moment. I'm assuming that it will be available very very soon. Right. Twenty seconds, and we can get ourselves we can get ourselves a decent chunk of change. Expedited permit. 100 HT donation. I don't need I don't need it. We can get ourselves a fifth ship like right now. But what I really want to do is I really want to make more money. That's what I really want to do. I really really would like to get a big a big trader, a super big trader. That would be really really nice. Right, let's do it. Uh buy Oh man, these subsidized prices are so so unbelievably good. Oh, look at this. Look at this. So marvelous. Uh, let's get you to Anxo, and let's get you to Anxo as well. I assume that the prices on Anxo are still going to be, still going to be the best. Yep, they're not bad. Uh, and then let's go and check out to see, let's check out the drug situation. See what situation is there. Shipment. Yep. Excellent. Happy days. Right. Okay. Let's do this. We'll get these. We'll get these. Uh, these orders sold, and then we will, we'll pop across to the colony ship. I think it is. There we go. Nice. Whoa. Anxo. There we go. Sell, sell. Oh my lordy. Look at this. 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 It's so good. It's so good. Okay. Pyrrhus. New units. Large freighter. Build. Absolutely. Okay, objective achieved, class B permit. We don't need none of these chumps in order to get a in order to get our class B permit. Excellent. Now you'll be able to grow the company further and increase overall turnover. Shareholders are pleased with your performance. Thanks for playing. This is the end of the demo version. There we go. We did it. We did it. Okay, obviously very 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 basic in its current iteration. I am super excited to see where this ends up going. Um, it was a bit chaotic there, and that was just the demo version. So we're going to have to clearly um, stay tuned for uh, the full release at some point in the future. I don't know when it will be, uh, but I am very, very interested because I love uh, I love automating stuff. And we didn't even get to do much automating uh, in, that, uh, in, that little, in that little snapshot. So... There we go. Anyway, uh, ladies and gents, we're going to wrap this video up. Thank you ever so much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obito Potato. If you want to help make videos like this possible, uh, check out the Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Potato. Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.